Hey friend, thank you for tuning in to another video. Figma just recently announced that they are going beyond regular multiplayer and basically introducing a Figma community. And while it's still kind of hot on the press, I wanted to kind of take a look at it and a walkthrough with you and sort of give you some of my first impressions as well. So let's take a look at this awesome new feature that Figma's just announced. So I think one of the really unique things about Figma is that they've had this sort of collaborative or multiplayer mindset from day one. So they've always been a collaborative tool. And over the last four years, as they've kind of been, you know, expanding their product and their feature set, they talk a little bit in this blog post about how multiplayer has really evolved. And they've seen a lot of designers kind of become more open in sharing what they're designing. And it's something that I've seen a lot of on Twitter too, is a lot of designers being really open with their design files and kind of sharing resources and toolkits to the wider design community. And I think Figma kind of saw that this sort of organic natural sharing of files was starting to begin. And so now they've decided to kind of build this open community where essentially it looks like you can basically create a Figma file and publish that to your sort of public Figma account. And then from there, people can duplicate your Figma file and kind of add them to their own Figma account to use. So they mentioned that it's just in a beta right now and I think you need to apply in order to kind of become, I don't know what they're calling it, I guess like a creator and to have your own sort of public Figma profile. But it looks like they've teamed up for this launch with a couple of companies like Slack, Dropbox, Unsplash, to kind of have a opening set of resources and design files that you can actually browse and get a sense of what this is about. So my kind of impression of this is that I could create a Figma resource and share and publish that to the web, which I think is a really interesting and cool approach. I've already seen people doing this organically, and I think this is kind of a next step for us as a design community to be more open in how we share things. And we've already seen in the past some companies sort of turn their design system into like an open source resource. I think Shopify did this with their Polaris system, Spotify maybe also, uh, I can't remember, but I think this is kind of a natural way for companies as well as individual creators to go. Um, I can see for example, like Uber, you know, maybe in the future we decide to share our icon set or something like that and make it a publicly available resource. It would be awesome if we could host that uh, through Figma and make it just like a duplicatable Figma file. And then from an individual creator perspective, I think this is just another great way for people to kind of share their process. So if I click on Zach, for example, who is actually a friend of mine, I know that he is a freelance presentation designer. This is really neat, right? Like we have a profile page here for Zach and he has four Figma files that are available to the public essentially. So it looks like he's created some presentation resources which aligns really nicely with his brand and what he does as a freelancer. So if I click into one of these, I can get a little bit more information, a little bit more of an overview of what this resource is. Looks like I can zoom, uh, drag, explore a little bit kind of decide for myself if I think this is going to be useful or valuable. It's cool that there's some shareable links here. They also include a licensing, which is really cool. I saw, I read on the blog post that they're starting with Creative Commons licensing and it will be interesting to see how they expand on that and if they provide other licensing options in the future. Uh, let's see what happens if I click duplicate. Okay, so I need to have my Figma account, which I already do. So now I need to log in. So give me a sec. Cool. So now it's opened up this file. Interesting in the plugin section, which I was not expecting this to be considered a plugin. I guess I need to press on duplicate again. Okay. Yeah, now it's gonna actually open up the Figma file. And I assume this will have duplicated this file into my Figma account. So let's see. Okay, so it's opened up. Here's the file. Oh, I need to upgrade my browser. Okay, I will consider doing that. Thanks Figma for the advice. So now I think I can totally edit this as much as I want. Cool. 
I wonder if I don't have the fonts, what it does. I'm not sure if it like automatically imports them for me. Um, it looks like it maybe does because I don't, I've never heard of this font before and I don't think I had it. Um, but it looks like this is in my Figma account, right? I'm not editing Zach's master presentation. So if I go back to files, yeah, it's showing here in drafts and I assume also here in recent. So now if I want, I can, you know, organize this into a folder structure that makes sense for me. So what I realize now is that now that I'm actually logged into Figma, when I click on a profile, it actually opens up that profile in Figma, whereas before it was displaying it in the web. So now I'm looking at Slack and I'm in my Figma account. I can sort of access my files, etc. here. Uh, so this kind of makes sense, right? Being able to browse this within Figma. I wonder if I were to open Figma myself. So now I'll just switch to my desktop version of Figma. Um, if I could actually browse profiles of people. Um, I haven't really seen the ability to do that. I see plugins here and I'm assuming that it will be here in the plugin section because that's where it took me to before. Um, but I don't know if I could like browse, see if I search for Zach, I know that Zach has a profile uh, and he's not coming up. So I don't know, maybe that's something that they're gonna think about uh, as a sort of future improvement. It would be really awesome. I would love to be able to see almost like a marketplace uh, without the buying and selling aspect. Um, but some place that I could go to to kind of browse creators or browse profiles and see what resources are available, what kind of files people are publishing. Um, also would be really cool to search and be really specific about search. Like maybe I'm looking for an icon set or maybe I'm looking for, I don't know, I just want to browse design systems to get some inspiration from what other companies have done. It would be really nice if there was a place for me to do that somewhere here in Figma or on the web. I don't really mind either or. Um, but right now it seems like I have to know that uh, these profiles exist. I have to know to go to figma.com slash at Dropbox, for example, um, which is a start. Um, but yeah, it'd be great to see them expand that a little bit further and make it sort of browsable and searchable. Another thing I think is potentially really interesting here is having almost like a closed or private or sort of internal team uh, space. So like if I could have, for example, figma.com slash Femke and that would show things that I've published relating to my work and if only other people at my company could browse and see and, and download and access those files, that could also be a really interesting way to kind of share these resources internally, especially from like a design platform perspective. Um, you know, at Uber, we have an internal design platform team. And if they had like a figma.com slash Uber design platform place where I could go and sort of see all of these files and get access to them, we do kind of have that today in sort of like a folder team structure, but permissions can get messy. Uh, sometimes I want to like duplicate the file to kind of like mess around with it myself. Um, it could be nice to just have like a publishing platform where like the design platform team could be like, here's the source of truth, here's the files. Maybe in the future also like notes, like release notes and updates about what the files consist or contain. Uh, they could also be a really interesting uh, approach for Figma to take to kind of dive in deeper from the team level uh, and see how that looks internally for a design team. But in general, I really like this. I, I think this is really, really great. And I really look forward to them opening up the beta and making this more accessible for a range of different creatives. I'm sure that I'll be surprised at the, the type of things people share and the utilization of how people want to actually use this. Um, someone was mentioning to me like, oh, it's pretty much Dribbble. And I was like, well, not really. I don't think so. I think Dribbble is a lot about posting the final piece of work in a finished like static frame almost like a picture but this is more about sharing source files and I don't think that's something that the design community has seen or had available to them as a resource so I'm really excited about this being a place for designers to share more behind the scenes to be more open with their process to, to share like source files and so we can all learn from each other 
um, I think that's really exciting. So I'm excited to see where this goes uh, and yeah, basically what people are going to publish on this community. So yeah, that's all my thoughts for now on this. It's really early days. If you're interested, it looks like you can sign up um, to apply to be a publisher, basically. Um, you have to, I believe, have a existing Figma file that you want to share with the public. Uh, this is what the form looks like. Um, so yeah, if there's something that you're interested in and you want to publish and be part of that community, go ahead. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to them opening up out of beta and seeing what people are creating. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this was helpful. Uh, if you think someone else would find this helpful, then please consider sharing that video with them. I would really appreciate that. Uh, have a great week and I'll see you in a future video. Bye-bye.